welcome everyone to the location and fight guide for Azariel the Sunbringer. The boss can be found in the Brighthaven Cathedral as shown in the map with the blue marking. For this boss fight I used the Dark Silver Sword, the Blood Mallow Amulet and the Grim Knight Armor Set. I also used the Blood Rage, Power Surge, Veil of Chaos and Crimson Beam abilities. Before attempting this boss you will need to use a Holy Resistance Flask as this location is a high Holy Radiation Zone. Upon entering the Cathedral there will be two Holy Pillars on either side that will activate firing two waves of Holy Projectiles. When hit, each projectile will deal a decent amount of damage. However, as long as you stay away from these pillars during the fight, you should not expect any hindrance from these pillars. The two other pillars in the room seem to not be activating when going near them on normal mode. This boss has seven main key points. The boss will fire a large holy projectile that will create a large circle upon hitting you or an object. This circle will then explode after a few seconds. When hit by the holy projectile, you will receive a decent amount of damage. And when hit by the explosion, you will receive a large amount of damage and get knocked back. Try to sidestep this projectile and move away from the circle. The boss also has a similar ability than the entrance pillars. The boss will fire four waves of holy projectiles. When hit, each projectile will deal a decent amount of damage. Try to sidestep these projectiles. The boss will also summon adds. The number of adds summoned depends on the number of players attacking the boss at once. You can either ignore these adds, but I would recommend killing these adds, as these adds can both fire ranged attacks and also shield themselves and allies. When these adds are alive, the boss can also swap places with these adds, creating two waves of holy projectiles that will move outwards from the swap location. When hit, each projectile will deal a decent amount of damage. Try to sidestep these projectiles. The boss also has a shield ability that he can either apply on himself or on an ad. When he applies it on himself, he will shield himself for about 5% of his total health. However, this shield seems to be greater on an ally. After the shield expires, the boss will heal himself for about 2 to about 5% of his total health. When the boss puts his staff in the air with a holy glow around him and his staff, the boss is about to rain down holy projectiles around him. When hit, each projectile will deal a decent amount of damage. Try to move away from these projectiles. The boss will also summon holy braziers that will try to slowly follow you around. When you get near these braziers, holy explosions will happen. When hit, you will receive a large amount of damage and get slowed for about 2 seconds. You will have to kill these braziers as the boss will be immune to all damage while linked to these braziers. Just be careful that you don't take too much damage while doing so, and if needed, try to use ranged attacks. After killing this boss, you will gain a tier 2 chaos spell point that you can spend on a tier 2 chaos ability of your choosing in the chaos ability tab. You will also unlock ostentatious rectangular and round carpets to decorate your castle.
And finally, you will now also be able to smelt gold jewelry and sulfur into gold ingots at the advanced furnace. I hope you enjoyed this guide, and if you want to see some live content or have any questions about the game, you can always come and visit me at twitch.tv slash Chiraku. Thank you again very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.